I'm going to put together this AgriFab utility cart, dump cart. It's supposed to hold 750 pounds. We're going to see if it works. It's uh, 46 by 30. And it's got the tractor pin for it, for like a lawnmower or something. And we're going to modify it and mount this 2 inch ball receiver on it. It's, this is for my brother, and his four wheeler's got a 2 inch ball on it. So. That pin ain't gonna do him very much good. Let's see what's in here. Yeah. Definitely damaged. I'm just have to flatten that back out. So this one's damaged. Yeah, it sure is. It's got some dings down that corner there. And then this end damage right there. Damage on that corner. All right, let me get situated here and see what we got to do first. I think that'll work. together yeah didn't come with any washers it's just nuts and bolts I suppose I could just go ahead and tighten those up This piece. All right, so for these, I wanted you to use the Phillips head with the lock nut. All right, for this piece on the side, it says to use the quarter inch by five eighths for this one bolt up here. It came with four three quarter inch long and 25 of the 5.8, so it goes, face, it goes this way, facing towards the cart. Well, that's not lining up very, there we go. This is everything still loose except for where I put the bed together. All of this is loose. Make sure whenever you put this on here that it's underneath the lip of the top of it, the trailer bed and five eighths bolts or yeah five eighths length bolts on this one and the three quarters on these okay these are the tailgate guides using the quarter inch by five eighths It's a big Phillips head. I need a different bit. I didn't have a good big size, big enough Phillips head bit for my drill. All right, he wants to flip it over. The front panel that's permanent has a lip along all the edges so that you can do that. Yeah. 
he wants me to use those Phillips head ones to put the. Uh... He didn't say to tighten those up yet. Axle support. It looks the same on both sides. I don't think it matters which way it goes. Phillips heads. I'm going to try and do this by myself. Okay, so we got that just put on there. It's not tightened up. This bracket is for the tongue. It's got this tab that's bent out. And it needs to go to the right side when standing up like this. You're going to use your quarter inch by 5 8 bolts to put this on there. I haven't tightened any of this down yet. All right, next it wants us to put the corner pieces on. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten all this down. Go ahead and get these. These are those Phillips head bolts. Oh, I'm gonna need a deeper, deeper socket. All right, now we can do this. New DeWalt XRs, twist your wrist off. These are the two bushings it came with. They go in these holes, like that. So it came with this one long bolt and these two nuts with the lock washer on it. Is that what that is? They call them SEMS, a Sims nut. But anyway, we're going to take it, go through this side. I'm going to put one on backwards. And take your, um, they call this the foot pedal, and you're gonna put it into this hole, the second one down. There it is. Okay, so we can go ahead and tighten the big bolt up. Just tightening the bolts up between these two. And then need to center this. It's a little too tight. There we go. 
needs to be just a little bit loose. Got your spring, and there's a long side and a short side. The short side goes on your foot pedal. This might be too big. There we go. Feels like a pretty, it's a pretty strong spring. You just tighten these up a little bit on each side until it's centered within the the slot down there. Okay. Well, I didn't read the instructions before I did this. I just used the pliers, but it actually came with a tool to pull the spring. What you do is you push it up through the bottom here, grab a hold of the spring, and then you can pull on it and get it hooked onto the tongue. So if you don't have a pair of pliers or aren't strong enough to do it that way, you use the tool that came with the kit that I didn't realize was there. Okay, so we're gonna put this this wheel on here real quick. You got your axle stop, or your wheel stop, I guess. Axle keeper, I don't know what they call it. But one hole's bigger than the other. Obviously only one will fit on there. That goes so it slides underneath. I don't know it has that other hole in it. And you take one washer. So, all right, so you take your wheel, you gotta grease start on this side, make sure it's facing out. more washers cotter pin in there oh it snaps onto those washer little plastic cap hmm. All right, same thing on this side And last, you gotta put your bracket on there for your pin. These are the two biggest bolts that came with the kit. These are 916s. You take your pin. It's ready to use on your lawnmower. Latch. You got it hooked up to your tractor and you push it with your foot. That allows the back, the back to tilt. You should probably push on that when you go to close it. Instead of just slamming it down. All right, now we're gonna figure out how we're gonna put that uh, two inch ball receiver on here. I decided to go ahead and take that hitch back off there, receiver, whatever you wanna call it, 
And we're gonna take this. It's got two holes in it already up here. We're gonna take it and put it right there and drill a new hole. If I put it on top, I'd have to weld it and it'd make the trailer, you know, angled down more. So we'll try this. And hopefully that's about the right height for his four-wheeler. Alright, found some found some washers. So I'm just gonna reuse the bolts that came with it. I think that'll work. That'll work just about perfect. Hook on this four wheeler, be about the right height. But I just noticed. I think I've missed something. Something ain't right about that tail. Alright, so what it looks like is I need to loosen these two three nuts right here. Nuts and bolts. This side's square where it needs to be, but it looks like this side's pushed out. That's what we got to do. No. Oh yeah, that's it. that's what it is. So you'll have to push the tops of these over when you tighten them. There we go. That's what it is. You know, I'm half tempted to weld the, these down here on the bottom. So I bet you this vibrates loose. That thing will hold 750 pounds, huh? Oh, the tires are flat too. They didn't have air in them. They say 30, 30 PSI max, but I'm only gonna put about 20 in it. So, yeah, what did it take me? 45 minutes or something like that to put it together. Wasn't too bad. Hopefully it'll last for a few years.